this might be the best piece of coaching I've ever been a part of. Now, I work with quarterbacks of all ages, definitely work with some young guys all the way through older guys playing on Sundays, but I'm not really a coach. I'm definitely not a guru. And so it's really actually more of like a consultant, just helping them out. I don't really talk where they should have thrown the ball. I don't look at tape with them and say, why didn't you throw that to Z on the over route? That's what their coaches do. Now, every year at the Elite 11 Finals, there's a couple of day window where I run a seven on seven team with some of the best quarterbacks in the country. So in that isolated weekend, I get to dial up some plays and put on my little offensive coordinator hat and have a little laminated piece of paper that I'm calling off of. But for the rest of the year, I don't really get to call plays. And that was until the Buffalo Bills called, not the actual Buffalo Bills the first and second grade flag football Buffalo Bills down here in South Orange County. That's right, I've got a chance to coach my seven-year-old son and his little buddies as we try and figure it out. Now, last year in the first and second grade team, we kind of balled out, won a championship or two because we played multiple seasons. Now, as second grade turns to third, we lost six of our eight players to third grade, and we replaced them with basically six new kids that were new to playing football and new to playing flag football and everything that comes with it. Now, after three straight mercy rules, us being on the wrong end of that, 54 to nothing, 48 to nothing, 42 to nothing, and in two of those games, neither of the other teams saw second down, <laughs> meaning first and 20, and it was a touchdown every single time they touched the ball until the mercy rules kicked in. And the reality is, is sometimes it's about the Jimmys and Joes, sometimes it's about the X's and O's. So myself and Coach Corey took it upon ourselves to figure out how we can help these young dudes new to the game with the X's and O's. And I had a little experiment that's working out pretty good so far. And here's what I mean. When you look at a concept like this, for me, this is we're faking it to yellow, the green line, orange is getting it. This is just F1 left and it's counter right. And that makes a lot of sense to me, right? Hey, red, you're going to come all the way across the formation. But what I realized I thought in the beginning, the kids just weren't that fast. What I realized is this picture, they had no concept of that red line, how far and how fast and what angle do I go at? And so after getting kind of boat raced three games in a row, we switched it up. We came right here to my office. We threw on some actual tape, standing behind him with an iPad. And then I went outside, had an idea that kind of worked pretty well. And I took sidewalk chalk, something all first and second graders are familiar with, but we didn't do hearts and rainbows and stars. What we did is we drew the plays all around my parking lot of exactly where you go on this play. And turns out some of those kids that I didn't think were very fast are pretty fast when they know what they're doing. So whether it's this play, F1 right, reverse left, or blue motion jet sweep right, any of these getting all the way into the pass plays, jet sweep left, and then getting into fake the reverse, kick back, hit yellow on the corner out, blue's coming into our vision, and voila, we start putting some points on the board. And here's what I mean. This is fake an F1 right. Now we're gonna have red on an over route, yellow, you're running this wheel, that's gonna take the corner with and that's gonna be open almost every time. And then we've got check downs right in front of us. Orange that we faked it to is gonna end up being either covered in the flat, which opens up yellow, or open in the flat, and that's an easy completion. But let's get into the tape. So here we are, this is more of a scrimmage setting right here. We're a little off sides, that's okay, it's first and second grade. Okay, we're gonna fake F1 right. My little lefty kicks back. And here we've got, we've got Vinny at yellow coming down. We've already got Carter coming across on the red and now Hunter coming across on the check down. This is a one to two to three read. Now that everyone's understanding where that over route is and where that wheel route is and where that check down is, we're able to go through our progression one to two and check it down, even though two is kind of wide open right here. Still second grade. Same concept. Okay, that's what practice is for. Again, we're gonna get red, yellow, orange. We'll triangle read for these first and second graders. Red's dead, took it too far upfield. Here comes yellow on that over route. There's that corner just waiting on Hunter in the flat. Ford, get it out there. Little double hitch over the top and Vinny with the hands catch and voila, we're rolling on offense and little things like this, taking football. This has been so healthy for me. I talk very complicated, very complex systems and mechanics and understanding fronts, pressures and coverages. So honestly, watering it down for this age has been very refreshing for me and really challenging at times, but it goes to show you, meet these little guys where they're at, give them something that they actually understand and like doing and turn that into football. And I had to do some self-reflection and look inside and go, what I'm saying, is this even making sense? Or do I need to put it in their language? And if you're looking to learn anything else on how you can get your kids dialed up, come see us in the playoffs.
Go Bills.